everyone and welcome back to fully playable games so in today's video we are doing another uh well game hunt really but as you can see we are in the car um but make a change we're not going to a charity shop or cex um this is actually an ebay collection that i'm doing so let's head off i'll tell you what we'll roll the intro and then i will try and get in some footage of me driving to where i'm going so, I will see you when I get there. So I've just finished loading the car up, uh, everything's now in the boot and what we'll do is we will head back to the games room and we can go through sort of what I have managed to get. It is an absolutely brilliant haul and yeah we'll go through it once we get back to the games room. Alright, see you in a sec. Okay, so we are now back in the games room. It is actually a couple of days later, um, by the time I got home uh, it was just sort of too late to actually film uh, the actual run through of what is here because there is so much to go through. Um, but what we're going to do now is we're going to switch the camera over and we can then have a look through. What I'm going to do is we're going to go through the hardware box first and then we'll go through the games box separately. We'll go, game, the, the, we'll go through the games box second. So let's flip over and I will try and get the best view I can of the of the boxes. Okay, so here we are. This is the first box in the collection that I've picked up. So hopefully I'm gonna be able to unbox it without too many problems because I've got the camera sort of directly in front of the box. So let's just dig in. First off, we've got a bag of what looks like controller spares so always handy to have them I think looking at them though a lot of them no there could be could be some usable bits in there so definitely worth keeping hold of we've got the power supply I'll get that one out of the way that is the Xbox 360 slim power supply and yes, there is an Xbox in this box as well. We will get to that in a sec. We've got the Microsoft uh, AV output. So good one to have actually, very nice sort of cable. I think I've got one already in the cable box. We've then got two uh, Xbox headsets. Uh, Obviously, they are the Xbox 360 branded ones. I'll be honest, I am not going to use them. <laughs> All right, then we get to some of the controllers. So we've got this one, which is looking at the picture, I thought it was blue. But I am not too sure now because if I look that side, it looks black. But it's definitely blue in sort of certain lights or purple but i don't know if that's an official controller or if it's something that someone's painted so i'll have to have a look in a bit more detail on that one um let's just 
So there are batteries in it, so I'm going to leave that off for the minute and just make sure that there's no corrosion. Then you can probably see it already. That is the limited edition controller that goes with the console. And I'll double check, there's no, no batteries in it and it doesn't look to be any corrosion. I'm not sure whether that is the correct battery compartment for it though. So I'm gonna have to have a bit of a look into it. And also there's a bit of a crack just at the bottom of the case there, which is a shame. But other than that, it all looks good. Bit of wear to the, the thumb stick there. Uh, a bit of chip in there, so it's not 100% perfect, but still, the actual sort of controller face itself looks good, so these bits can always be replaced at some point or another. We've got, so we've got a couple of these, so these are sort of going to be sort of rechargeable battery packs, um, and then I believe this, I'm going to get this one out actually, that was a HDMI cable that just dropped on the floor. So we've got two of these, so battery chargers. Simply place the battery on the charging pad. So it looks like a wireless um, battery charger. Um, I've got two of them. So yeah, not too sure on that one. Then, We've got an Xbox microphone. There's no wires for it. So I'm not sure what that one's for, what game that's for. But it looks in good condition. Don't know. Xbox 360 wireless microphone. Haven't got a clue. <laughs> And then we've got two more controllers. So we've got the red one, which looks in good condition, actually. So I haven't got a red one yet, so that will go onto one of the 360 shells. Along, I'm probably gonna put the um, this one up there as well. We've then got another white one. So I've got one white already. And yeah, that all looks good. Obviously, I will sort of get all these sort of hooked up sort of afterwards, get them tested. But yeah, they look okay. Then I'll tell you what, we're gonna get this one out and then we'll get to the console itself. So we've got Seen It, the movie trivia game. So it's got all the controls and yeah it's basically a multiple choice party game based on films which to be quite honest is probably something i would play so yeah i will have a go at that at some point and we'll stick that one over there and then let's get to the console itself so i haven't powered this on yet i sort of got no clue as to sort of whether it works it is, I believe it's the Gears of War 3, Xbox 360 Slim, uh, Xbox 360 Slim console, yeah. So, yeah, really nice. Don't know about sort of storage or anything like that, but what I'll do is, is after video, I will get it powered on, and if I manage to, uh, I'll try and get some footage of getting it all hooked up and sort of powered on and I'll insert it right here. So hopefully that will power it on without a problem. <laughs> then next up we've got this and I saw this in the picture of the listing and I don't know if you can see it on there. Yep, there you go. So it is the Xbox 360 big button IR receiver. I haven't got a clue what this is used for. So if any of you know, just leave me a comment uh, just down below. So I'd be really interested to find out what this is used for. I've got a feeling it's for use with the Scene It, but not too sure. 
So yeah, if you do manage to, if anyone does know, please leave a comment down below, just letting me know. Then next up, we've got another video cable, but this one seems to plug into a computer monitor, and then it's got two separate outputs for audio as well. So could be useful. Um, I don't think it will be. Obviously, I've got all my, got everything set up now for the HDMIs. So I, it's not something that I'll be using. Next, we've got a charging dock. So this is probably for, when I'm looking at it, yeah, it's gonna be for them ones. So the ORB ones. Don't know if I've got any more of them. Yeah, I've got a couple of sort of different ones, so I'm not too sure. And then what we'll do is we'll get all the battery packs out now. So we've got uh, EX Spec. So there's quite a few sort of battery packs. As I say, they're not ones that I'm going to use. Um, but I am going to keep hold of things like this. So the battery covers. They are really good for if you get hold of a controller that doesn't have them. And then we've also got a pink one as well, which I'm quite interested to get hold of a controller that's pink. So I'm going to chuck these ones just down on the floor. As I say, I'm not, not really interested in those ones. Then next up, we've got... So it's another Xbox cable, but it is... The Xbox 360 hard drive transfer cable. Okay, I have no clue how to use that, so I'll have to have a look into sort of how it works. I'm assuming this is gonna be a transfer from the normal 360 to the 360 Slim, uh, or is it between sort of normal 360s? I don't know, it's not something I've ever done, so not got a clue on that one. Then we've got the controller USB cable with a white tip to it. We've got a Xbox 360 camera. And apart from a couple of other bits, we then finish on a Kinect. So I have already got a Kinect sensor. Um, this one will just become I'll uh, say, I uh, will test it all, make sure it all works, but that will essentially become a spare. Right, so let me get all of this packed away, and then we will get the next box out, next box out, which has all the games in. Okay, so here is all of the games that I got in this job lot as well. So I believe there are, there's just over 60 in this. So yeah, really, really sort of chuffed with this. Obviously it's quite funny because obviously with it being an Xbox lot, or an Xbox 360 lot, sorry, um, most of the games in here are actually for the original Xbox. I think there is sort of like three or four Xbox 360 games. But nevertheless, sort of it's always good to sort of add some games to the original Xbox collection. And I think actually out of this, there is only, I think it was something like eight doubles. So yeah, really chuffed. So let's just get sort of jump straight in and let's have a look. So we've got Alien Hominid. Haven't got a clue on that one. So box complete. Um, I will go through and have a look at the discs at the end. Um, but to be quite honest, sort of even if they are scratched, obviously we've got the um, the JFJ Easy Pro now, so I can always just run run them through it. We've got Pariah, and it looks like it's been bought from CEX. We've got Destroy All Humans, so we got this on the PS2 um, a few video few videos ago. So I actually bought that before winning this lot. But what I have found is obviously it does have. A property, it's a property of sticker, Home Entertainment Corporation PLC. 
um, and it's one of those sort of warranty type stickers so there's no way to get that off without destroying the manual which is a shame we've got our first double so it's Deus Ex Invisible War we've had this one a couple of times actually um, but I need to check it I'll check it against the one that we've got as to sort of whether we've got all of the the manual and sort of everything that goes inside it uh, we've got Conflict Vietnam so we've had quite a few of these sort of games but uh, I don't think we've got this one yet and then the next handful we've got so uh, uh, Otter, uh, Otter Guy is that how you pronounce it? Myth of Demons So it looks very much like sort of a, a hack and slash. Could be an interesting one. We've got Splinter Cell. That's the original. So I don't think we've got that. I think we've got some of the spin-offs or some of the, the sequels. I don't think we've got the original Splinter Cell, which is good. Uh, then we've got another double. So we've got Medal of Honor Rising Sun. But as I say, all of them seem to sort of have the manual in so far, so that's really good. We've then got Buffy the Vampire Slayer. So I saw this one in the listing, and it sort of did pique my interest a bit. So this is based on the uh, TV series with Sarah Michelle Gellar. Could be interesting, or it could be absolutely awful. <laughs> then we've got uh, Sudikai. Is that how you pronounce it? Reclaim a universe shattered by darkness and deceit. Okay. Ah, never heard of it, but could be an interesting one. And we've got Mech Assault, which is brilliant. This is, is this Mech Assault? Is this the one that had the big sort of control deck that went with it as well? Or was that a different one? I will have a look. I'll have a look, on, I'll have a look after the video and I'll sort of stick a little note down here if it is. We've then got Fantastic Four. So this is based off the, uh, the 90s Fantastic Four film, which was by far better than the one that they released in the 2000s. So, yeah. Obviously, Captain America himself. <laughs> it's all, uh, I think he's the only actor to ever play a character or play two different characters in the Marvel Universe, but also to play two different characters across the... Uh, was it so I think it's Sony that owns Fantastic Four, or is it Fox? And the Disney, Disney version. So, yeah. Very nice one. Then we've got, there's another double. So this is Harry Potter and the Quidditch World Cup. We've got Brothers in Arms, Road to Hill 30. So once again, I'm still so impressed with how many we've got with the manual. We've got Blinks, the Time Sweeper. So I've heard of this. It does look so familiar. Yeah, I am definitely going to be giving that one a go. We've got 007 Nightfire. That's the classic edition. The first one that we've got that's missing the manual, actually. Um, we, I think we don't, we don't have this on the Xbox. We've got it on the PS2, but we don't have it on the Xbox. So, yeah. We'll definitely be adding that. Obviously, there's a bit of damage to the cover art just at the bottom there as well. But, yeah, still good. And, yeah, absolutely loads in this lot. We've then got Hunter the Reckoning uh, Redeemer. So, it looks like another sort of hack and slash type game. Uh, 
box complete, which is good. Then next up, we've got Enter the Matrix, but it is printed artwork, which is a real shame because you open it up and it does have the sort of the sort of the manual in with it as well. Obviously, it does have this great big ugly sticker across the top of it, which is a shame. Um, but yeah, if it had the cover art, it would be pretty good condition. Um, and even they put the the US cover art on it. Yeah, so it's got the power disc, but NTSC cover art. So I will have a look. I will try and get hold of the cover art for that because it's not one that we've got already. We've got Pro Evolution Soccer 4 and the classic edition. Um, once again, don't think that's one that we've got. Uh, oh, Pro Evolution Soccer. Yes, we do have it, but I don't think we've got the classic edition. So we'll get that added in. Uh, this is another double, and this is actually uh, it is a 360. So it's Avatar the game. But once again, I will check to sort of, has this got the, yeah, so this has got all the sort of the manual and that. So I will compare that to the one that we've already got in the collection and swap it out if need be. We've got Fusion Frenzy, a non-stop party action, a party game action. Okay. It looks like the balls that you used to get on the old Gladiator TV show in the 90s. I've never heard of it, know nothing about it, can't really comment in. Um, but yeah, I'll probably sort of give it a go at some point. Then we've got uh, Quantum Redshift. So it looks like a, a racing game. Yeah, 16 global racing circuits, fully interactive environments. So it looks like basically a uh, sort of clone of sort of Wipeout. Looks like a Wipeout clone. So could be interesting. Then I've got the last four from that sort of top section. We've got Brothers in Arms, Earned in Blood. So I think this is another one that we've got on the PS2, but we don't have it on the original Xbox. We've got Project Zero, based on a true story, and that is an absolutely horrific cover art. So it looks like a survival horror type game. Looks like a Japanese sort of Japanese sort of inspired game. So that could be exceptionally good. And it's box complete. That is one that I am going to give a go. That looks really interesting. I didn't see that in there actually. So definitely give that one a go. Conflict De Desert Storm. It's one that we've already got. Um, it is missing the manual, but it has got the registration card. And then we've got Pirates, Legend of the Black Cat. Have not got a Scooby about that one. Yeah, one to have a look at. Okay, so let's see what we'll start at this end. And first out, we've got Terminator Dawn of Fate. So, uh, box complete. Um, is this the one? I'm not sure whether this is the one that's got quite mixed reviews, actually. I don't think it is. I think this was one that was actually sort of well received. Then we've got Gun, Gun Griffin, Allied Strike. So it looks like another mech title. We've got the Incredibles. Very nice. 
nice. We've got another double, which is juiced. Uh, it is box complete. So as I say, I will compare that. Then we've got Time Splitters 2, which we did actually pick up. I think this was in the last CEX challenge video. So what we'll probably do is take the one back to CEX that we got, um, because I'm still within the window to sort of take them back. Um, I'll take it back and then get that added, get that money added back into the CEX fund. We've got Project Gotham Racing 2, which is a, another double. And then we've got Prince of Persia, the two thrones, is that? <laughs> and we go, box complete. Um, I remember playing the sort of the very, very first sort of Prince of Persia, sort of back in the 80s. So yeah, I haven't really got into sort of like the newer Prince of Persia games. I still remember sort of like the 2D sort of side scrolling game. <laughs> Okay, then we've got Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Ring. So this is a double. Um, actually, that's quite interesting. So it's got the normal case, but the classics disc. So yeah, it is a double. We've got Lord of the Rings, The Two Towers. Uh, I think we've got that on the PS2. I don't think we've got it on the original Xbox. And then Lord of the Rings Return of the King. So that is all three of the Lord of the Rings films covered for the Xbox. Then we go on to Lord of the Rings The Third Age. Uh, I think that is a double. Uh, yes, that one is a double as well. We've then got Pro Evolution 5. We've got Neighbours from Hell. <laughs> okay, that looks interesting. Looks like a claymation sort of art style. And it looks is it a side scrolling beat em up. Could be an interesting one. Then we've got Robotech Invasion. Once again, box complete. And we've got another Xbox 360 game. We've got Street Fighter 4, which I think we've got on the PS3. So nice to add that to the 360. We've then got Over G Fighters. So it looks like sort of a, an ace combat sort of type game. Got another double. This is Forza Motorsport, the original. We've got Panzer Dra Dragoon. Ugh, I can never pronounce this. <laughs> Panzer Dragoon um, Auto. So I've never played any of the Panzer Dragoons, but definitely one I am going to sort of have a go at. We've got Legends of Wrestling 2. We've got Whiplash. It does have the menu in there as well. Um, okay, so it looks like a very sort of like Crash Bandicoot sort of type game. So it could be interesting. We've then got Full Spectrum Warrior. And a game that I am really looking forward to playing. SSX3. I think this is one of the better ones. I think this comes, it's a debate between sort of this one and SSX Tricky as sort of the best SSX game. We've then got uh, Burnout Revenge. So I do like the Burnout games. They're very sort of much, you just sort of stick them in, you play them, 
and not really got to put a lot of thought into them. We've got Mist 3. So I think I have briefly played this on the PC years and years ago. Um, never really got into it, but we'll probably have a look at it. It's, it seems like an interesting game. We've got Dead to Rights. Very nice. We've got Shark Tail. Dead or Alive Ultimate, which is another game. Oh, it's another one. Oh, sorry. Dead or Alive, is it Ultimate 2? Okay, not too sure with that one. Or is it a two? No, it's a two disc game. Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, another Dead or Alive game. We've got Odd World Stranger's Wrath. So I've never played any of the Odd World games. We've got Spartan Total Warrior, which is. I uh, don't think we've got it on the Xbox, but we have got it on the PS2. And then the last few that we've got are Pirates Live the Life. We've got Unreal Championship 2. got Galleon. So we've had a couple of pirate games in pirate themed games in this one. Which is interesting. We've got Unreal Championship, the first version. And then we've got Pure and Batman the video game on the Xbox 360. So this is the bundle copy. So it has both the manuals and both the discs. And then the final game is going to be Dark Summit. Action adventure on the slopes. So it looks like another snowboarding game. And that is box complete as well. So that is the end of the game. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go off quickly sort of um, just total up sort of what the value of the games are at CEX. And then we can compare what I've paid to what it would have cost to sort of buy all of this from CEX. So I'll be back in just a second. Okay, so I've finished going through all of the games and getting them all sort of priced up in comparison to CEX. And wow, there were some absolute crackers in that. Um, some of you may have noticed sort of as we were going through some of the sort of premium titles there. But for those of you that didn't know, We've got, let me just pick them up. So Panzer Dragoon um, Auto and Project Zero are both £15 each in CEX, which was absolutely amazing. But that wasn't the best one. The best one, and I nearly fell over when I saw the price, was uh, Otsguy, or what, however you pronounce it. I can't remember how you pronounce it, but... £35 in CEX, absolutely amazing. And yeah, this has been an absolutely brilliant lot. So, what was the total cost? So, all I have taken into account with this is the games and the console. So, the additional controllers, all of the cables, all of the accessories um, have not been sort of taken into account with this. It is just literally the games and the Gears of War 3 console. And if I was to buy it at CEX, it's £285.50. So, yeah, really, really chuffed. But what did I pay? Well, I had to go and pick these up, um, as you saw. Um, it was about an hour's drive each way. So it was about £15 worth of petrol. Um, and the winning bid with it, I was the, literally, I was the only bidder on this auction. It was absolutely brilliant. And I paid, uh, the final bid price was a hundred pounds. 
So including the petrol, that's 115 pounds I paid, which is a saving of 170 pound and 50 pence. So yeah, absolutely over the moon. Uh, I think this is my best one or maybe my other Xbox lot was the best. I can't remember the total pricing of the other Xbox lot, but yeah, really, really chuffed with this. Obviously, we've now got a special edition console to try and add to the shelf behind me, uh, plus an absolute ton of games. I haven't got a clue how I'm going to get all of the new games into the shelf, but I'll work it out some way. So yeah, that is going to be the end of this video. I know it's been a bit of a long one, but obviously it was such a big lot to sort of go through. So if you have made it to the end, a massive, massive thank you. And please give the video a like. Um, it really helps me sort of boost the channel. Also, if you're not already, subscribe to the channel for more videos just like this one. And yeah, with that said, that is going to be the end of today's video. Thank you so, so much for joining me. And until next time, I will see you later. All right, bye.